All right, hello, Eric. Um, so we're going to work on Magic Bus here. So it's uh, one of the things you have to know on this is it's the A chord. I think we've done this before, but I'm sure you know an A chord. But we're really going to do the rock and roll version of an A chord here. Let me get a little closer. Just basically, if you just... Oh... If you just hold that finger there, he's use, you use this thumb to mute the lowest string so that it won't make any noise if you hit it. And A is open, the whole chord is based on that open fifth string, that's the lowest note in it. And then you're getting about three of these strings with your finger, the fourth, third, and second string. If you don't get that second string, it doesn't really matter. This is just rock and roll here. So that little note is a C that I'm bending a little bit. You might be wondering why I have these fingers over the strings kind of blurring our vision and stuff. Well, they're doing a lot of muting. That's, I'm like, to get that sound where it's real muted, I'm going like that. So you have to work at that. That's a good drill right there, just I'm shutting it up with those fingers right there. Okay, so this is, I just played most of the song right there. So it's That's just a G. He does it with his thumb. He likes to play like this in the video, but uh, very few people would play a G with your thumb getting that note and then the rest of the fingers like this. So this is the G chord, and, and you know, usually for rock and roll, you're going to use um, both the third and fourth finger to get the first and second string on a G chord. I think we've gone over that before. So that's the G you want to play. I think you actually want this finger up too and just have the fifth string muted. That's the kind of G I think I would play here. So that's G, G, D, D. And then there's these other two chords. And this one actually is a C right here. Because this is A, so if you look at power chords here, well anyway, I won't get into the theory too much tonight, but A, move it up two frets, it would have to be a B, move it up one more fret, it's a C. So on the fifth fret, we're just playing the second, third, and fourth string right there. And then we're playing what looks like a D chord, but up with these two fingers on the seventh fret. See that dot right there? So I'm putting those two fingers there. That would actually be um, a G chord up there, believe it or not. of the whole song if you just got that. So it's A, 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 G, D, A, 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 C, G. That's just this high G. And then you were interested in that little solo bit. Um, so of course he starts with the pick slide. He tries to get the A string ringing a little bit at the end of that and then it's on the third string, yeah, it sounds like that, right? Yeah, so breaking it down slowly, it's 
one one note right here and then take that finger off so that's the third string open twice and then the fourth string open twice and then the the C note right here on the fifth string so, so. So work on that right there. So that's the third string, second fret. Yep, so third string, second fret, third string open, fourth string open, fifth string, third fret. So fast it sounds like this then I kind of like the way he plays this he goes a lot of sounding good with a little lead bit in involves sliding up to the note so I'm really plucking it down here Okay, so that little high-pitched part of the lead break, he goes, that's the 10th fret on the second string, 10th fret, and that's the 8th fret on the first string, and he takes that down to the 5th fret on the first string, which is actually the same note as this one we started with. But Playing it this way lets you kind of slide into those notes a little better. And then these last two notes, you reach, you've got this finger here. You got these two on the seventh fret on the second and third strings. So it's like that. I hope I've been intelligible as I've gone through this. It's getting kind of late here, but so it's like that. Okay, so um, I hope that works for you, and good luck with it. I, I will definitely go through the rest of the song and get you some more, but I thought I'd give you a start.